Hi everyone, so I wanted to do a quick little update. Um, I was really excited. I didn't really want to wait until my next update. Um, actually, my week turns over tomorrow, which is Friday. Um, so, I mean, I could call this my 21 week update. We'll see. Anyway, um, just a day early. So today I went and I had my ultrasound. Um, and that was really exciting. And I thought I'd show you guys those pictures. Hmm. Don't know if I should edit them in at the end or show you the actual. I got a lot of them. Look at this. Like a lot. I don't think I've ever gotten that many. Yeah, I'll probably have to just edit them in. I took pictures of them. My husband was trying to scan them on the computer, but I don't think that it worked. I don't know. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'll just edit those in at the end. Um, so after my last video, I told you guys that I was having um, cramps um, that I had contractions. Um, and then I had them again, and I still didn't call my doctor. Um, I could get them to go away on their own. I think it's more like if I start having a pain or a real, real discomfort of some sort for some reason, it um, will like irritate my uterus and cause it to contract. And so, if I relax and get into a hot bath, it's okay. So, um, this is definitely something I'll bring up at my next appointment. Um, but I don't know that I'm going to need to call. Maybe if it happens again, I probably will call. Um, just because I'm only 20 weeks, 21 weeks. So, um, I have a craving now that I've gotten these. I got these for Christmas from my sister, who I think actually, sorry about my nails, they're growing out, but I think she actually watches these because she talks about my vlogs sometimes. Anyway, um, she got me these for Christmas. <laughs> two of them and I've, I just like right before making this video I finished the last one of my other bar um, so that's two four six eight of them since Christmas that I've eaten um, I don't eat more than one at a time but they are so incredibly good like my absolute favorite now and I crave them I want them all the time oh no this one looks like it's ew look at that I haven't opened it yet, but there's caramel. Yuck. Well, we'll see. I'll have to investigate. Anyway, so that's um, a huge craving now. It's like my cravings change because um, it was cake for a while, a long time, and then that kind of went away. And it was fruit for a long time and that went away. I think it's just like once I've eaten enough of it because it's, I've craved it, um, it kind of goes away. Um, but that is just, oh, so good. And let's see, I don't know if there's really much else. Um, I do have a big belly. I'm sitting here leaning forward. I'm like, <sighs> that's why I sound like that because it's like pushing in. Um, I do have a big belly and I will try to get a belly shot. It's really hard to um, get those belly shots um, because I usually either have my daughter take the picture or I have to try to take it of myself and I don't like doing it in a bathroom. It's kind of weird and I know a lot of people do the bathroom but I'm not really much of a bathroom kind of person. I guess maybe I could try. Anyway, um, I will try to take a picture and edit that in as well. Um, yeah, I don't think there's really much to talk about. I just wanted to update you guys on that ultrasound. Um, when I went in today, I talked to the lady and um, she kind of scared me at one point because I was looking at it and um, I was like, oh, there's the four chambers of the heart, you know. She's like, or I said, that looks like the, there's four chambers. And she's like, yeah, it looks like there's four chambers. And I'm like, ugh. And then later on, um, after we got the baby to move because she wasn't able to get any facial pictures or profile or anything, um, I'd gotten the baby to move. 
And she's like, oh, there's a better picture for the radiologist. She's like, oh, well, I think you should radiologist. I don't know. And she said, oh, there's a better picture. Well, oh, that's a pretty hard blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, whew, you kind of scared me for a second because I thought I saw four chambers. And she made it sound like she didn't. So, or that something was wrong and she was kind of quiet. And I hate that. You know, you don't want to go into an ultrasound where they can't tell you anything, you know. Um, but anyway, so I told her I didn't want to find out the sex. And so she's like, okay, well, you know, some ultrasound techs will take pictures of it anyway, and then the um, OBGYN will accidentally say it. She's like, so I'm not even going to go down there, I'm, or I'm not going to look down there. It might end up showing. Um, she's like, but I'll warn you when we get around that area. So she did. She told me to look away. So I looked away when she did the bladder and everything. Um, and she said she tries not to look as well. So, um, and then... So I didn't, I didn't see that, but when we were doing the profile picture, which I don't know if I can show you a little bit, I'll edit it in like I said, because it'll pick it up better, but the baby had its head down and its feet up and over, like over its head. To the point where his his or her feet were touching the back of her, the head at, um, a lot of the time. So it was really weird. It was hard to get a profile that way. Um, and I saw a bump. Okay. Now I know that with girls you'll get a bump as well. And then you have to turn it and look and see if you see the stripes. Um, what? Okay, just wait a second. I'm almost done. Um, you'll see the bumps or the bump and so I don't know if it was a female bump or a male bump that I saw she like immediately as soon as we spotted that just you know backed up a little bit <laughs> sorry about the sound effect uh, she backed up a little bit and and uh, made it so that it was no longer visible including um, in the pictures because there's also leg pictures in here yeah and you would have seen it but like she backed up just enough to where there was no bump anymore so at least I'm pretty sure girls still have a bump too, um, because if I remember right, that's you'll see the bump and just you have to look at it from a certain angle to see if there's stripes or not. And if there's not, then it's boy, and if there is, then it's a girl. But I don't know. So I kind of thought it looked like a female bump, um, and I didn't want to see it. And I'm glad that. I I didn't ask her because I what I went in knowing stop what I went in thinking in my head is that if I see something I'm gonna ask her about it if I see what I think to be a male or female part then I'm going to say okay I think this is what that is am I right you know because I don't want to you know see it and not know but it kind of happened anyway so anyway so I better go um, I will edit in those pictures, and um, I will talk to you all later. Happy TTCing to all of you TTCers. I know it gets frustrating, um, but hang in there, and I'll be watching out for all of your videos. I watch a lot of your videos. Even if I don't comment, um, even when you say, hey, comment, sometimes I'm just like, I just don't for some reason. I don't, so half the time I don't know what to say, you know, so many people are already commenting and whatever, so, um, but I do watch your videos, and I love seeing your updates. I look for them every day, all the time. I'm always looking for your updates, which is a little, you know, I'm a little Facebook and YouTube addicted, but anyway, um, yeah, so lots of baby deaths to all you TTCers and to all you new BFPs it's really exciting um, I know there's a, a girl that's been um, you know going back and forth to get her ultrasound and whatnot and so that's exciting too um, especially because she saw a flicker <laughs> if you watch my videos then you know who you are anyway alright so I will see you all later Okay, bye.